Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. I'm sending more people towards my way. You know, our community is just growing and just being able to, to share those, those loving vibes towards each other is such a beautiful thing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, I would love for you to drop a line or two. You know, I'd love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact and gift and how impacted your life and head you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos just give good vibes or good information that you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow impact or going through some you know difficult time right now please go ahead and share and while you're at it you know give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and with that being said Thank you for the, so much for the support, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. This beautiful meditation I'm listening to today is called 528 Hertz, Soul Healing Music, uh, Inner Tranquility, Harmony, Light Music for Positive Energy and Balance. So I would um, go ahead and post that in the description box but i don't know why i would just think about b scott when he was like balance <laughs> it's this other youtuber and now he's a celebrity blogger it made me uh just think about it and got really tickled um i would love to say happy birthday to my beautiful friend she's a god sister of mine um she passed away like nine years ago and you know i i just really felt her in my heart today and you know, I just had to look up and I heard her voice. So it was just like I would love to tell my, my, my sister from another mister, Yolanda, happy birthday and I love you, girl. Um, but today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hate tries, but love always wins. Hello, hallelujah. Yes, it does. You know, it's just like when you know you're heading towards beautiful blessings, you know, when you're leveling up on yourself, you know, you're feeling good about the energy that's flowing around you. You know, you're attracting um, beautiful people, you know, but also you will attract negative ones as well. <laughs> and it's just like it don't make no kind of daggone sense. It don't matter. You can be having a good day. Either it's somebody running in front of you when you're trying to get to work and somebody want to go slow as hell or it's somebody coming at you crazy. You know it's always something. The devil is always busy. Darkness always try to creep up on you. So you got to stay woke. You know, be looking on you know, side to side, you know, it's just like, I love what I do, I love sending out positivity, but every once in a while, I get one of them weeds in the daggone grass, so, you know, you gotta keep, make sure you keep your lawn mowed, so you can make sure you can pluck them daggone snakes and how tell them up out of there, you know, I got people, you know, uh, insult my intelligence, <laughs> on about, especially about the things that I talk about, and it's just like, I'm the type of person, I read, I learn I ain't slow <laughs> okay I might be slow on certain things you know but I'm not slow okay and it, it's just like you know I love when I'm challenged I have no problem with that but when you're trying to assault my intelligence by calling me stupid what indirectly not calling me stupid don't don't do that <laughs> don't do that because I promise you I will have you question your existence I'm the sweetest person that I could ever possibly be but I don't like being backed into a corner I mean I feel like everybody has their opinion not everybody's gonna agree with me that's fine but don't 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 insult my intelligence you know people do that but then I love the fact that you know people love my videos you know uh, people share my videos it's a beautiful thing when you can connect with people that are basically, you know, you might be going through different situations, but you're able to connect, like, uh, when it comes to, you know, you're, you're, you got questions, you're curious, especially when you're a Hayoka, we always got questions about something, and the way we investigate stuff, we investigate stuff the long way, you know, um, just going through different things, 
um, missing my father like crazy. You know, my, my dad's anniversary just passed, and it's just like when well, my friend, um, her anniversary is right after my dad's, so it was like not a good week for me. So it, it's just like going on, and you know, I made a video about uh, the situation that I went through, and you know, I still go through, but it's like I don't harbor your hate, you know. I don't hold hate in my heart for nobody, you know, not my family, not the people that, you know, adopted me. I don't even call them family, you know, it's just people from my past that I connected with. Um, and it's like that guy, I, that's what the nickname is, P.O.P., people of my past. <laughs> I don't even call them family because I feel like anybody that can be family, that can do something like that, I've never heard of, um, unless, you know, a child is in danger to be able to hold them from knowing their, their their biological family. And my family made sure that, you know, my mom loved my dad, uh, my, my biological father. She always wanted me to connect with him. And, you know, I still hear my mom say, you know, whatever you hear, I know it's not gonna be pretty, but just know that I wanted you to connect. And I will forever be grateful for my mom. Um, I will always be for, forever grateful to my adopted father because this painful experience has got me to the point where, you know, that's the worst you can possibly do to a person is keep them away from their your biological family. Um, being able to get the strength that I needed to get to open my story up towards people, you know, the right people that they will listen. You know, I know there were some people that, you know, questioned me. That's fine, you know, it is what it is. Um, but it's just the fact is, I, I can use my situation that I've been through in pain, you know, to let you know when there's things that's been thrown at you where you feel like you can never, you know, forgive or you can never, you know, get peace of mind, you will, you will. It just takes a daily practice on, you know, healing. You know, letting go of things that are not positively serving you. It keeps you at a low frequency. Love, love conquers everything. Love conquers all. You know, um, me and my father have a very unique connection to where I can speak to him. You know, twin telepathy. You know, we speak every day. You know, anytime, you know, especially when it was his, um, his anniversary, I felt him a lot that day I really do and I mean usually I feel him throughout the day but it was like he knew it was a hard day for me it really was a hard day for me because I cried like nobody's ever cried before it's just like when you lose a parent that is that that's the worst feeling in the world but losing a parent that you were never able to have that physical connection with again that was the worst feeling. I don't wish that on my worst enemy I don't um, but it, it's just like when you know you're heading towards something, I, I can't sit up here and be worried about what people pray against. You know, I've had people that, you know, I've held dear to my heart and then found out that you're praying to make sure, you know, I never have a connection with my dad just because of who my dad was. You know, and it, it pisses me off when people do that because that all they're seeing is zeros, you know, dollar signs, what my dad had, what my dad was worth, you know, but you still forget that my dad was also a person you know he's made many songs of about his him being separated from his children you know children that you know I always it broke my heart because my dad never had that that experience of being a parent you know because he was robbed dearly from that you know and now since he's passed I mean that that's you know I wouldn't wish that on anybody you know my dad was a very strong person but he was broken as well. Not actually broken, but he was hurt. You know, he 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 got through his pain through his music. And being able to do all those different things, being able to bring joy to people's hearts, you know, having them when they're going through rough times, you know, I always hear people that connect with my dad saying, you know what, his music really got me through a lot of things. And, you know, that, I mean, that holds dear to my heart that knowing that, you know, my dad was able to do that for people. So it, it's just like when you're going through trying times, know that, you know, it's not going to always be that way. Uh, no matter how darkness tries to creep up on you, throw, you know, throw pain in your program. <laughs> and that's a good thing. Uh, you know, that's a good content. Throwing, you know, when darkness throws pain, pain in, in the program, that's going to be another uh, video. But you, you keep pushing. You keep believing that better days are coming for you. No matter how many people try to wish harm on you.
try to, you know, people stay, you know, people be in your circle saying, hey, I'm supportive and no one they're sitting up here plotting your downfall like it ain't even funny I've, i mean i've exited so many people out of my life because even though when they're in the midst of it universe tends to sh sh share you know shed spotlight on, on people when they do that towards you hold on pause for the cause y'all y'all back y'all was sitting up here cooking and trying to do multitasking but um when you're going through things and it i mean there's times that i don't want to get out the bed in the morning you know, I, on the days that I, you know, I don't make videos, you know, I have to clear my mind because there's a lot of things that go through my mind. You know, um, not every day is positive for me, but I try to find a blessing out of those days. Being able to calm my heart, uh, be able to heal in places that, you know, I still feel kind of tender on. You know, there's, we all go through things. There's some things that we can get over and there, there are certain things that we've been through as our adulthood as well as our childhood. There's really it's a hard pill to swallow you know and i, I don't like i tell y'all when i'm at telling you to let it go i'm telling myself to let it go too because you deserve to be happy you don't need to be in that dark place that darkness tries to keep you in or ego tries to tell you you know oh you, you're gonna still be going through this forever you know the things that you want in life is <laughs> it ain't coming you know, you never know what got, what God got going on behind the scenes. You know, I hear a lot of things that goes on about my dad's estate and stuff like that. And I, I don't have any care in my heart for it because I know what, you know, I know what's going on. You know, I see what's going on. I know what the angels got in store. You know, I know people try to pray that I don't never go home or I don't never meet you know my family or you know I, I don't hold any ill will towards my family either. I don't know what's been said to them. Because, you know, I, like I said, my family has put it out there for people to look at me in, in a certain kind of light when it came to my father. They was extremely jealous of my father. So they have had people, they painted pictures up of me that weren't that pretty. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, I, I tell the truth. I ain't got no time to sit up here and lie about things. Um, but I, I'm not going to be spending all day and night trying to convince nobody either. But, you know, I use my situation as an example you know I use the painful experience that I went through as in my childhood as well as my adulthood that you know there's nothing in that world that you know it might hurt for that minute it might sting for that minute but day by day I get stronger every day and it's just like you know if, if people are there for me thank you if you're not for me thank you you know, whether it's a good or a bad experience, I've learned something out of it the long way. And I'm grateful for it because it's like, it's giving me strength where I never thought I would be able to get strength from that. You know, you lose a parent is the most hardest situation to go through. But when you know that your worst fear is played out for you, my worst fear was always, you know, knowing, I always tell my family, if I ever knew who my family was and never had a chance to meet them, that was my worst fear. I never got a chance to meet my family, you know, and they they made sure I lived that 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 out, you know, and it, it's like, you know, wow. But you know, everything happens for a reason. I don't know what the universe in stores for me has in store for me. I don't know what God has in store for me. But it's it's just like when I know I can help others, let you know, you know, you you might be going through some things, but trust me, things will get better for you. You just keep doing you. You know, don't wish anything bad on nobody. You know, when when you have a good day, you praise on that. You be grateful for that. When you have a bad day, you still stay grateful for that. Because out of that, it is giving you something like, you know, I, I can look at my situation, I cry so much. You know, I'm like, God, I don't understand this. You know, my father, my mom, you know, everybody's been taken from me. But I know something big is going to come out of that situation. So, you know, you keep doing you. You know, keep staying prayed up. You know, keep doing good things. You do good, you get good. No matter, you know, you, you got to remember karma and how it works. You, you don't want to be on that 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 short end of the stick, you know, wishing hateful things on folks. Because, like, I don't see it happen around me. You know, especially when people be, you know, poke fun at me and stuff like that. And I end up being that one that sees the things happen. And I don't even say nothing. I just look and be like, mm, well, I see what you've been doing. So, you know, you keep doing what you do, you know, and things will get better for you. 
So, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Give me a thumbs up, share, you know, like and subscribe, hit that bell. My post notification shout out goes to Bonnie Jo Smith, Lost Soul, and Yara Jet. Much love to you. And, you know, drop me a line so I can go ahead and give you a post notification shout out. And I will see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. And be wild.